or an undercurrent was there against KCR's 10-year rule. But Congress was pleasantly surprised to see an enormous huge response to Bharat Chodha Yagra of Rahul Gandhi in 2022, uh, during which he spent around two weeks' time, he, wherever he drew huge crowds, wherever he went. Um, and later in 2023, earlier, Congress got a major boost uh, because of Karnataka elections where they decisively won against uh, uh, BJP, the might of BJP, I would say. Mm. And that has rubbed off, particularly in the bordering districts of Meghub Nagar, Rangareti, Medak and Nizamabad, that border Karnataka. And a lot of money uh, is also flowing from uh, Karnataka into Andhra. Um, and not to forget the local factor, Mr. Ravent Reddy, who is the Pradesh Congress president. He is a relatively young chap, 42 years old, very dynamic, uh, very organized, um, uh, tireless worker who, 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 who takes the bull, uh, bull reed KCR here by its horns, uh, ready to give it back. And, um, and a key factor has been, in my opinion, that Congress has been able to get its own original um, social combination that is headed by Reddy's, remember uh, YSR, um, with along with, when there is a strong leader, Reddy's form around 7 to 8 percent of the population. Uh, though Mr. KCR, who also comes from a dominant community called Belamas, but his community is only hardly 1 to 2 percent. Um, but he, he tried to keep the Reddy's in good humor because Reddy's control the economy of Telangana and to large extent in Andhra Pradesh also. So by uh, giving them contracts, government contracts and other things, um, Reddy's have been pretty unhappy. They want their own, within quote, own government and they are wholeheartedly supporting Ravent Reddy and Congress in turn. And when there is a strong leadership comes, automatically other people pull in. So the BCs, OBCs, Dalits and minorities have all now rallied behind Congress and that is giving a big headache for Mr. KCR. BJP, which was doing pretty well uh, in the last three years, uh, they won a couple of high voltage by elections. Uh, important leaders like Etala Rajendra shifted loyalties. Uh, they have a firebrand RSS uh, local man, um, Bandi Sanjay Kumar, uh, who also loves to take on KCR heads on. Um, all our point, they did very well last year in the Hyderabad Municipal Council great elections. But suddenly the graph fell. Um, and nobody knew why Bandi Sanjay Kumar, who was an influential OBC leader, also an MP um, from Karim Nagar, why he was, uh, you know, changed with uh, BJP wanted to again tap that ready uh, vote bank by shift by by sh by shifting him and replacing him with uh, Kishan Kumar Reddy, who is a Reddy leader. He is also a local MP, but that didn't work because Reddies have never voted for BJP in the past. And the BJP probably lost a trick or two when they replaced the firebrand Bandai Bandi Sanjay Kumar with Mr. Kishan Kumar. More uh, subtle, uh, more uh, you know, pleasant. Uh, Mr. Uh, maybe they wanted to have good relations with BRS, uh, keeping in mind the 2024 Lok Sabha election, which is now difficult, you know, proving to be very, very tough now for them, uh, given the, the status of BJP in various other states in India. Uh, so, probably the, the, the central calculations uh, made them deliberately weaken the state party and Congress cashed in on it um, and now riding on a wave. How big is the wave? That is a question mark. There is no doubt about that, that uh, there are youth are particularly angry and the rural people are angry and a lot of minority vote which has gone. Uh, Hyderabad, has, the, 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 there is around 13% Muslim vote in uh, um, when I say minority, that includes Christians also. Uh, you know, in Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and uh, Telangana, they also play an important role, unlike uh, in the north where minorities means only Muslims. There is around 13% Muslim vote, but around 7, 6-7% is concentrated in Hyderabad city. That is a um, you know, traditional vote bank of MIM, which uh, traditionally wins around 7 seats. This time they may win 6 only. Nampalli, uh, Congress has a very strong candidate, Feroz Khan, they may uh, win that. But six seats are very safe for uh, for a MIM who is in untold alliance with BRS, and um, um, the remaining seven percent uh, is uh, you know dispersed over more in uh, northern districts like Nizamabad, Adilabad, in the city areas, Karim Nagar, and very less in Warangal and Kammam. Uh, so the the minority vote which is going mostly to BRS has been shifting gradually towards Congress. How much it has shifted? 50%, 60%, 70%? Nobody has an idea. 
that again is also will decide whether congress will be able to get a majority on its own or not um apart from that christians were officially below only around 2% of the population but many dalits many uh, people uh, the, the tribals dalits who have converted to christianity or who who follow christianity as regularly but are enlisted in uh, in the census as uh, hindus are following the traditional religion because if you convert to christianity you tend to lose the uh, benefits of reservation so so probably the christian population is around 4% that has been traditionally now gone against bjp and that has shifted uh, more towards congress after manipur violence um uh, so that is also happening uh, and plus the the andhra vote the settler vote in greater hyderabad has also shifted towards congress to a large extent because of uh, tdp is not contesting this elections uh, because they have got their own problems sandra babu naidu uh, was arrested was in jail for more than 2 months now around one month back he got a reprieve from supreme court he got a bail um, the tdp mr revan reddy political background is from tdp so tdp vote though is ready he has been a ready with the trs not with the congress so a lot of uh, the so called settler population um, in uh, greater hyderabad region has been also shifted to congress but again the question mark is whether it is enough for congress to get a majority of its own or not and there is definitely anger against um, uh, the tdp um, because um, of the so called family rule uh, mr ksr is the cm and his nephew mr harish rao is the finance minister and his son ktr uh, is the uh, it minister health minister and all various other uh, commerce minister various power of big portfolios his daughter kavita is an mlc was a former mp before she surprising lost in nizamabad seat la in 2019 and um, he promised the dalit cm when he was elected in 2014 so that, that, that definitely reminds uh, you know uh, the, the 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 flash point that people are angry um, uh, with the ksr but yes his advantage is the so various welfare measures announced by him um, and uh, probably uh, he has not marketed them well as much as mr gelot has done in uh, in rajasthan but still people recognize the reasonable good work done by him in the in the last 10 years but as i said normally anti incumbency fatigue factor sets in once you have been in government for such a long time people want to have a fresh face so the question now is um, nobody denies that um the, the the congress one more interesting factor is congress has never got a uh, majority in um, uh, in this 119 seats since 1983 the 1983 i am taking the year because that was a year when mr nt ramara formed the tdp uh, they have never crossed the 60 mark 60 is the uh, out of 119 is a majority mark congress maximum has got 58 only one time got 58 one time they got 53 because tdp has been always been a major player here and they used to get the votes of the obcs here most of the obcs here uh, vote traditionally used to vote for tdp that vote bank has uh, gone to um, brs now um uh, now Uh, the 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 vote bank difference between the last election between congress and 2018 uh, assembly election has been 18 percentage points congress got around 28.5 28.8 or something and uh, tdp has got 46.8 it's a huge gap even taking into account the alliance partners maha kutami the difference was around 14 percentage points so congress needs around 7.5 percentage points up and uh, brs to down by 7.5 percentage points down and uh, they also need to get some other votes uh, around 2 to 3 percentage votes from other smaller parties so that they can get over this magical figure of in say somewhere around uh, 42 43 percentage uh, which will give them a majority simple majority to work with whether they have got this nobody know there is no denial that trs vote will come down and their seats also will come down from 88 um there is no doubt congress will go up from 19 to somewhere above 40 there is no doubt about that also and there is no doubt that bjp has not done well bjp got around 7.5 percentage vote last time this time they may get around 10 to 12 percentage um because they have promised a bc prime chief minister if elected and um 
uh, uh, also badiga subcategorization which right now is not possible constitutionally not possible it has been struck down previously also but mr modi has promised he has attended a, a madiga caste meeting also couple of months back uh, so bjp is pretty strong in the northern districts relatively speaking particularly nizamabad and uh, karimnagar where they have got uh, their sitting mps they are contesting also um, uh, sanjay bandi sanjay and dharmavri arvind are contesting elections also this time the two constituencies they have a fighting chance though it's very tough for them the another constituency where they are in the fight is gosh mahal where they have been winning in the last two elections the firebrand raja singh the loth rajput leader uh, which is not the, the seat has got lot of uh, you know north indian voters um and is communally polarized because it's in hyderabad um so he has got also got a fighting chance but brs is fighting a very good battle in gosh mahal and congress has the, um tactically put a weak candidate uh, so as to facilitate the defeat of raja singh so bjp has a fighting chance in 3 to 4 seats not more than that but they have the potential to 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 score around 10 to 12 percentage and whose votes they are going to take the anti incumbency vote which will benefit brs or the obc vote because bjp's leaders are obc both mr uh, sanjay bandi sanjay and arvind are from the uh, munuru kapu uh, community uh, bc community and they are strong local leaders also if they take the obc who have never voted really voted for congress in the last 40 50 years Uh, that will benefit congress in fact rather than uh, um, you know being a disadvantageous thing to them this is remains to be seen the amount of voting percentage how much they will get and whose vote they are going to take these two things are very very important um <coughs> so mim will have his own vote bank their vote they will win six seats no doubt and um, their their winning margins in whole hyderabad city will come down last time two people won with more than 80000 votes and two won with 50000 votes that will come down congress will gain but till they will comfortably win six seats nampally is uh, probably they will lose probably bsp will do well in one seat where their state president and uh, ex ips officer is contesting they may win that seat also congress is in alliance with cpi which is which is contesting only one seat kotagudam in uh, in kammam um, cpim is pretty strong in couple of areas but i don't expect them to win they may cut votes and incumbency votes there hurting uh, congress there but all in all is very interesting thing but the question mark is uh, whether the congress will be able to cross in my opinion one of the uh, you know in my opinion the only uh, respected sophologist in india yogendra adav who has been uh, uh, consistently traveling uh, throughout telangana in the last two months believe that there's a andi there is too far there is a huge tsunami in favor of congress in the rural areas i been mean also i have not been to telangana unfortunately during this election campaign time um, but i have been speaking to people there um and reading a lot watching a lot of videos and stuff like that and a very splitted campaign by mr revent reddy um uh, i will i has got a you know very innovative creative campaigning which is uh, unknown for congress people and um, there are good times for congress we have they got young leaders like dk shivakumar and revent reddy and sachin pilot um who can uh, you know their future of the party uh, congress party there but whether congress will be able to cross that magic number 60 is a big question mark uh because uh, even if congress gets 59 and uh, B, let's uh, say that uh, brs gets 50 and uh, uh, t- t- this uh, this people six they will get six or six seats uh, mim um, uh, so will get six seats and bjp three or four uh, they will give both mim and bjp will get outside support to brs and they will form the government and within two or three months they will buy 20 to 30 congress mlas last time congress won 19 mlas and within six months within six months 12 of them crossed over to trs including senior congress leaders like sabita indra reddy who was a home minister of indra now she also she is education minister in the trs government uh, contesting elections also this time so that is also possible uh, so for congress to win uh the, they have to form the government 60 is needed uh, if anything less than 60 even one seat less than 60 it is victory for brs now bjp is aim in the last one week is simple they need they want to stop congress from winning and because congress is definitely winning chatisgarh in mp and putting a close fight in rajasthan i said it's even stevens in rajasthan in the my yesterday's uh, post so yeah mizoram also congress is expected to do well probably form a coalition government uh, there so they have to stop congress 
so that is the only uh, that that itself is a win for bjp because they want to concentrate on 2024 lok sabha elections but a win for congress in telangana will completely means that uh, they get a big boost in south india in karnataka telangana kerala and tamil nadu in alliance with the dmk Uh, the only state where they are weak is um, uh, Andhra Pradesh. Probably they may even TDP may go for an alliance with Congress. Even though Jansena, uh, Pawan Kalyan's party, which is in NDA, which is contesting uh, Telangana elections in eight seats as, as partner of BJP, uh, may have to may be forced to rethink its strategies. Lot of uh, you know political uh, um, uh, new alliances and new combinations we may see in South India based on Telangana elections, but. It's very very tight election, tight in the meaning that I have absolutely no. I'm sure that Congress will emerge as a single largest party, but as I said, 55 won't be enough for Congress. They have to score 60 minimum. Uh, though Yogendra Yadav predicts a tsunami, I don't see that because uh, a simple factor is uh, um, you know, the KCR still has got a good name. um uh, though there have been you know allegations corruption allegations kaleshwaram very innovative campaigning by congress kaleshwaram atm and all those thing bye bye ksr all that uh, but still ksr enjoys goodwill because of the welfare measures he has brought in and his role in the formation of telangana but congress will emerge as a single largest party whether it will be the 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 now as i said the low voting now uh, gives it a very very uh, new phenomena we don't know what is going to happen um you have to wait and see now you can uh, watch the um, uh, opinion polls which will start coming for the all five state elections also anyway bye take care